Welcome to Mac and PC Prime video, how to install Mac OS Ventura on Windows. First, on your Windows computer, install your WSL creates a Linux virtualization environment on Windows. WSL stands for Windows Subsystem for Linux. Make sure your computer has virtualization enabled before installing your. You are required to restart your computer after completing the WSL installation to apply the changes. After completing the Windows boot, a Linux screen appears. Here you create a new administrative account on Ubuntu. Type username Mac and password enter. This is a Linux virtualization environment on Windows. You use this administrator account to update and install application packages. Type sudo apt update, user password enter here. Next, follow the instructions for creating a Mac OS Ventura virtual machine on Ubuntu as above. For that, open Google Chrome and type in Google search OSX KVM GitHub and hit enter. Here is how to create different Mac OS virtual machine instances on a hypervisor called Kimu. In this example, I create a Mac OS Ventura virtual machine. Other versions of the Mac OS virtual machine are created in a similar way. On Ubuntu, you install Kimu in the necessary packages. You can install all of the above packages at once or install them one by one. In some cases, you will encounter an error when installing all of the above packages at the same time. So I installed the packages one by one. After completing the installation of the above packages, you can create virtual machines on Ubuntu using the Kemu hypervisor. Follow the steps above to install the packages one by one. After completing the installation of the packages, you download the files to create a macOS virtual machine. The downloaded files are saved in a folder named osx.kvm. These are the files after being downloaded. You update to the latest version. Some tweaks to make sure the server works. 
Next is editing, depending on the processor you are using. I use the command for my Intel processor. If you use an AMD processor, use the remaining command. Then you copy and paste the above command to create users and groups. After completing the hypervisor configuration on Ubuntu, download the Mac OS installer. There are seven different versions. You can create a Mac OS virtual machine in. As mentioned, I created a Mac OS Ventura virtual machine. The downloaded file has the extension DMG, so I converted to an image file with the extension IMG. This file is used to install Mac OS on a virtual machine. Next, create a new hard drive for the Mac OS virtual machine. Now you have all the files needed to create a Mac OS Ventura virtual machine. Now I install Mac OS Ventura on Kimu Hypervisor. You use the above command to boot the target virtual machine. Here are the steps to install Mac OS Ventura. You format the hard drive and install Mac OS Ventura on it. Above are the steps to create a Mac OS Ventura virtual machine on Windows using WSL. Here's how to boot a Mac OS virtual machine on Windows. You open a command window on Windows. Here you boot Ubuntu. Then you browse to the folder named cdosx-kvm and dot slash opencoreboot.esh. Then you use the command above to boot the Mac OS virtual machine. You use full screen mode for a better experience. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.